comfort zones, you know, talking about planning and getting strict with the planning. So I hit record and she immediately just started, she just, what's the first thing you said? We're switching sides. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cheers to Sober October. Cheers to Sober October, this episode niner. Niner. It won't be October nine. when this airs, but it's okay. No. Oh. Watermelon kombucha. Well, that won't be, will it? Let's see. Will it? No, it won't. Episode numbers. Oh, yeah. It'll be November, but... <laughs> it's October it's right now. October for us, so... Yeah. Episode 9, and we're going to talk about our 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 planner. How we... Get to... strict on the planning. To be more organized, to have more time to get... The S H I T done. S H I T. She's she's not wrong though. Um, we had Kayla had this amazing little calendar, a little dry erase calendar she had up on the wall over here. Um, but we decided screw that. We took that because she it was so well done. But we realized that we wanted to put a lot more things on the calendar, and there wasn't enough room. So we built this big huge one on the wall. Now we're gonna um, have our goals up there. Yeah, affirmations. Um, so I'm gonna turn it. Oh, and show I'm you. trying to see it. Let's do it. Here. Oh. IGT IGTV yeah. peepers. So it's a whole chalkboard it. wall. Okay, you can see it. Yeah. See. With all of our stuffs on there. <clears throat> yeah. Not too bad. So that's kind of how <clears throat> we're trying to <clears throat> get our lives planned out, so that we can. Make sure that everything we need for our lifestyle to uh, make sure that it's represented up on the calendar somewhere. So it has my work schedule. It has the kids' dance schedules. Henry's school schedule when they don't have school. When Tegan wants hot lunch. When she wants cold lunch. When we're going to the bathroom. When we're <laughs> has all of our bills. Our hour yeah. of power yeah. that we do every day for um, our business. It has special days, like oh right, like name yeah. your car day. Yeah, every single day is like a national something. Other day, there's like a million different holidays for each day now. So we kind of put the funny or cool ones up on our calendar. Like yeah, name your car day, National Taco Day was yesterday. Yeah, do something nice today is do something nice That's right. day. So we're we're uh, delivering this podcast to you. You're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. Um, <laughs> But anyways, yeah, we can go on, on on and on about the things that are on the calendar. Right. But, like, it's scientifically why? proven. Yeah, why? Why the hell would you make a whole H-E-L-L. wall of calendar? H-E double hockey sticks. Why would you paint a wall just for a calendar? So, it's it's subconscious. that That's scientifically proven. Um, and all kinds of stuff about goal setting and um, just knowing your, charting your course is what they call it. Um and what we are, what we're trying to do is, right now we're taking it month by. We do it. We have a yearly goal. We have, we have, we have a what our goal is a year from now. Um, we're trying to figure out how to break that down into each month, and then we break that down into each month. Our monthly goals that culminate to our our yearly goal, right? And weekly, weekly goals. Weekly, yep. And then so daily goals. Daily. Hour. Every. <laughs> Well, our, our our planner that we're using does have that. Where is it at? Do not have it? I thought we had it. I don't, I don't know. Where'd you put it? Yes. Guy? I'll be right back. He'll be back, and I'll be right here. So, we... Cody took a whole day, well, half a day, and painted it, and then made it all pretty. And it's fun when you can like color coat things and make fun designs and it makes it fun oh yeah i mean kayla's handwriting is so good she's using different colors yeah you color code different 
categories for things in your calendar. Right. We've been using this thing called the Kingdom Organizer. Is that backwards? Sure is. What the heck? Why is well, it backwards? Because it's on mirrored. Huh. That's weird. Uh, Kingdom Organizer. Yeah, this um, Richard Paul Evans. God, that's that's an easy name to remember. It's that's an awesome name, Richard. Richard Paul Evans. Props to your mom. I think he's from Salt Lake City. He's an author. He's written a bunch of books, I think. <clears throat> but he came up with this Kingdom Organizer. And it's got it broken down. It's a, this is a 30-day starter guide that we've been uh, using. Our friend Janica, she turned us on to it. But it's, the kingdoms are it's broken down into five kingdoms, right? So this planner, you know, if you, if you throw somebody a, just a calendar and they say, they say start planning stuff, the reptilian mind, the survival mind is going to go right to like the fires, like putting out fires, and usually that's at work. So if you're in a busy profession where like your work life can tend to dominate your attention and your mood and your, your emotions, that's what's going to get put on the calendar. Well, what, and kind of like before when we had just the dry erase marker, it was just like bills. Mm -hmm. Bills. I have work at this time. Deacon has dance at this time, which is all great, right. all great stuff to have on there. But it's more of like um, instinctual, like what has to survival, be done. Survival stuff, right? Yeah. Sur yeah, survival. Um, but we had always been thinking about trying to have a... Um, more structured. Well, yes, we want we we are we were structured. We wanted we realized that we were really structured in certain areas, but we were not getting other things on on the calendar. Right. Things like meditation, things like your self care, things like what friends you need to, to um, connect with this week or this month, right. or what family have members, birthdays. family members, you yeah, birthdays but, are up there, but what family members you want to connect with this month or this week? What associate? So the five kingdoms are broken down. Kingdom one is like C plus D. Yeah. It's, it's all, it's all, it's, <laughs> or you. It's all about, um, you know, what's, what's going on inside, inside of you. Like it's C plus D, if I remember correctly, it's something like self and, uh, divinity, just like that inner, the inner thing that we're all carrying around, that, that consciousness, right? Right. Which is really cool. Um, and then kingdom two is family, spouse, Children, that's your second kingdom. So like kingdom one, kingdom two, it kind of goes out. And then friends is kingdom three. Associates. Associates is kingdom four. The world is kingdom five. And outside of that is chaos. So kingdom one, two, three, four, and five are represented in each month, each week, and, and the annual part of the program. Yeah, and so it, it's really great. It has everything laid out for you. So you can go in the week before and plan out your whole week so you know... What has to be done? What needs to be done for yourself to keep yourself happy and healthy, um, which is so important. And it has what you need, like physical goals, personal goals, right? So let's just spiritual goals. Yes, yeah, so let's walk them through it real quick. So here, here's a monthly right here. Kingdom one: spiritual goals, learning goals, reading, pleasure and joy goals, phys physical goals, personal victories. Right. And for me, I wrote stick. For me, for my personal victory, was stick stick to this planner for the whole month. Because it's and, hard, especially when you don't do it regularly. Yeah, I was talking to a good buddy of mine. He's like, well, what about people who aren't planners? And I said, well, I wasn't a planner either, but I really thought it's because I was being lazy. Like, we, do it, we don't do it because we, we, we think we can wing it and, and keep everything up in here. But, once but you it's get so all that, easy to get stuck scrolling or like watching TV or yep. indulging in things that aren't necessarily benefiting you or bettering you because we're winging it right yeah. but if you got if the writing's on the wall and you have this as well it's like a, literally, it's like, it's a on yeah, the li wall. literally on the wall and you have this this basically like a, a planning journal that goes along with that it just keeps you it's, it's a good reminder what needs to be right. done so kingdom one kingdom one and then kingdom two what? What are you doing? She's trying to signal something. We have one minute left. We can, do, we can go longer than 10 okay, minutes. Okay, cool. We're minutes. good. Remember, uh, I think we're, we're gonna, we can go maximum 15 minutes on IGTV, I think. Okay, sorry. Um, I, could, I could be wrong, but we'll find out. Um, so Kingdom 2, growth with number 1. So this I haven't yet figured out yet. I need, I need to talk to Janica about what that means. But, but there's like connection goals for Kingdom 2, so your family. So right here I have my mom, my grandma, my brother, and my, one of my sisters. 
And um, it says why over here. And so I have these goals to, to connect with them them all this, this month a certain number of times. Kingdom three, uh, that's fr uh, uh, friends, right? So kingdom two is family. Right. Kingdom three is friends. So, so again, I who you want to connect with Friends I want to connect with here, why? And they also have, uh, they also have <coughs> a new connection. Like oh. somebody like you want to make a new connection with. Kingdom four is associates. So what's your most important task? Oh, this came, this came, this, here's where work comes in. Mm -hmm. Or your side hustle or you know, outside of friends and family. Um, your so neighbors? I, so, I would say neighbors are more in the friend the category. Unless you're, oh. I would say associates is like people you're like either in business with or considering doing business with or creating something with. Okay. Right? Like, yeah, you, that makes sense. Right? Yeah. Um, or like maybe you do like volunteer work. Yeah. Okay. Those would be your associates. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you make those friends, but it's like an organizational thing. I don't know. And Kingdom 5 is the world. What will I do to impact the world this month? And what I wrote was get myself squared away. What I mean by that is, if I can be squared away, then when, when I'm out in the world, I can, that has I can a big impact. I can have a better impact. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more organized, I'm more focused, I'm actually trying to accomplish the things I want to accomplish to have impact. And so that same thing for the weeks, Week, too. So and have, then the days, too. So right? you have a weekly here, and also it's Kingdom yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then well, to be done. Yeah. So and then a ahead, page yeah. where you can write notes. Yeah, there's the notes. Month or the week. Or the day, yeah. 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 Um, but they have these to be dones for the month, right? So you have, to, you have, you, and what we're learning is you have to be really, get really good at picking your to do's because if you're not specific enough, it's hard to check them off. That's true. Um, so we're just, you know, but you know what, uh, a friend of ours, Becca Komar, she talked about messy action. Sometimes you got to just start using it. And even though it's not perfect, you're still t you're, where you're still using every day and, and you're, you're going to get better and better using it. But the point was trying to make was you're really good at picking your monthly goals and you, and you learn how to do that. Well, then when you put your weekly go goals, it's easy to track that your weekly goals are, are, um, are summing up to accomplishing your monthly goals. And they, it's scientifically proven that people who actually write down their goals and like chart out, out their goals, like they, they, they actually achieve their goals at a higher percentage, than other, which makes sense, right? But it's scientifically proven that doing this helps you manifest the things you want to achieve. But what's cool about this is it, it, it stops you from just operating in that reptilian mind right. survival state right. yeah. and, and make you think about those other areas of your life to get that work life balance down on a planner and get it organized. Right. Um, and so we're, we're, we're going, we've, we were doing a good job about this. We're trying to step our game up, but this is going to be a big part of our coaching program that we're going to be uh, launching here very soon. We're, we're still developing it. Right. Um, but the, the kingdom planner is going to be a big part of our initial, um, beta part of the, uh, the, the beta version of the program. Mm -hmm. So, um, we want to make sure that we know how to use it really well so we can coach others. How to use it and be effective at it as to, well to get that work-life balance. Like, yeah, we can sit here and talk all day long to you guys and to our clients about work-life balance. Then you do this, right? But we feel like you have to walk the walk. Absolutely. And uh, and we're already seeing results because of doing this. And, yeah. Um, and looking, the wall. We're looking forward to that um, being a big foundational part. Yeah. Of our program, and our program, we are. We are specifically designing our program for a very specific particular group of pe peoples. Very particular audience of peoples, and um, but it's a, it's a group that we've done some research on who can really use the help and the impact that we have to offer. And uh, we look forward to sharing more with you guys about that later. But check out Kingdom or Kingdom Organizer. It's awesome. You can just Google it. Um, or let us know if you're interested in it too. Because we can hook you up. Yeah, we can hook you up. Um, it's. It's like what twenty five dollars to start, like seventeen bucks a month, I think. Um, and you get the you get the um, I could be saying those numbers wrong, but it's really affordable. Yeah. You get the whole year planner. And you get access to all these different, all those different video content and the Facebook group. Like actually get to interact with Richard Paul Evans himself, be on webinars. Uh, yeah. I think he I think he interacts on the Facebook group. So. Um, uh, maybe going to conventions or seminars. I think. Anyways, it's Thanks. awesome. 
uh, getting, getting organized and planning your lifestyle, guys, it's key. It's soup tough. important. Soup. Soup important. Get so, it. cheers to tuning in. Thanks, our friends and peoples. Be bloomed. Be bloomed.